Well, hey everybody, Joy here. It is a Tuesday and it is August 21st, 2018. And I'm here at my star quilt house <laughs> and Jerry is at our other house. I'm up here um, trying to get some little repair things done. Like there's some broken bricks on the patio and, and the driveway has these cracks that are supposed to have these boards in them and the boards have sunk down in the dirt or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, getting some repairs done and I have decided that for now, I haven't even talked to my husband about this yet. I'm, I'm trying to leave my poor husband alone. My husband is so busy. He does not have time for my personality right now. <laughs> I'm just, well, I don't really want to go into details, but you can imagine, you all know my personality. I'm like, um, you know, there's electricity stuck in my butt or something. <laughs> and my husband needs it to be quiet. He doesn't need his wife running around saying, why this and why that? And did you do this and did you do that? And what about the cats and what about this and what about that? <laughs> so I've just left. We're perfectly fine, perfectly fine. It's just I've decided to leave him alone so he can work 70 or 80 hours a week and not have to deal with a wife. And I have two houses. How perfect to run away and just hang around here. I've talked to him. I talked to him five times yesterday, three times this morning. So <laughs> don't worry about my marriage. It's fine. But, um... There was this tiny little um, hook in my jaw pulling me up here just a little bit. I was telling myself, no, that wasn't it, but <laughs> I have decided to buy that new Baby Lock embroidery machine. I'm sure you all have seen it. They send everybody an email. And um, it's called the Solaris, S-O-L-A-R-I-S. And it just came out, just came out. I mean, they just got the first one in our Be So In store down here like last week. So they called me and they wanted to know if I wanted to come in for a demonstration of it. And I'm like, oh, I'll be back up there in a month. I've got to go see my eye doctor again in a month. I'll be up there in a month. And then all the time I'm thinking, I wish I could go up there. I wish I could go up there. I wish I could go see that machine. <laughs> And then that brat friend of mine, Phyllis, she was there with this last Saturday. She was there at the store with the machine, and she's not even buying it. And so she was sending me text pictures of it and stuff. And I'm like, that isn't fair. I feel like it's to see it, and I don't. <laughs> so anyway, I'm really, really excited. I don't know when I'll get it. They only have the one in the store, and it's for demonstration. Somebody will get that one for a good price. You watch. But, um... When you actually, you put $500 down deposit, and that puts you on the list to get one with their special package, which half of it I don't even want, but you get this special package. And um, then you don't have to buy it. You can get your $500 back, which I think is just crazy, but that's the way it is. So anyway, the day Philly was there, I put her on Marco Polo. And I had her Marco Polo, Jan, the manager of the store, showing her all the stuff about the machine. So, I came up with what I wanted for what machine, and I told Phyllis, tell them I want this for that. She said, oh, there's no way they're never going to take that joy. She came back to the phone, and she said, oh, my God, they're going to take it. <laughs> so, I said, I'll buy it, I'll take it. So, when you say you're going to buy it, your name gets to go on the list, because you put your $500 deposit down, you get on, I paid the $500 list, and so then you're in a row. And I'm sure I was very, very, very last because it was the last minute on the last day when I gave them my $500. So I'm sure I was at the bottom of the list, but when I said, yes, I want it, I'll pay you for it, then they moved me up. And so I'm up at the top now, and I think they're sending 10 machines at a time or something. And so, I don't know, I'm sure I won't be the first 10, maybe not the second, but anyway, I'm up there somewhere. <laughs> so I'm real, real excited about that. And then I've decided, Instead of looking for another house right now, we're still in the midst of selling our business and Jerry still has to work for a year and so do I, although I work very few hours compared to Jerry. And part of the, what I do is going to go to the new company anyway, so my job is going to be a breeze. But um, I decided if Jerry will agree to it, I haven't even told him this yet, this house has two living rooms. 
you walk in and there's one living room in the formal dining room which is just Jerry's office right now it's just a desk and it's nothing fancy at all and when we bought this house it was to be our Oklahoma City offices because our offices in our store here we had to give to other employees because we just kept growing and growing and growing we had to keep hiring more people and the only place left to put them was our office <laughs> so we bought this house and I, I have my office here and he has his office here my office is in my sewing room office being a desk with the computer that, it, that connects to the store you understand so I decided my lightning fast mind <laughs> that if Jerry would just let me have one living room I could turn that living room into my quilt sewing room and these two bedrooms that I have right now that I'm using for it I can turn back into bedrooms one of them can be his office and I'll move him out of the formal dining room so one of them can be his new office which he'll use to manage our investments and stuff after we've sold our business and um, one of the bedrooms can actually be a bedroom and the bedroom at the other end of the hall is a mother-in-law plan and it's already an extra bedroom so my extra bedroom down here will be for my babies for Luke and his non-existent baby sister but she's coming because Tammy and I are hoping someday he'll have a little baby sister he was here yesterday oh my gosh is that baby cute can you love something so much I tell you uh, that's that's really why I'm here you guys I mean it is so stressful down there at our house with Jerry working so hard and constant issue after issue and people calling him on his cell phone and oh it's just so stressful and so up here I get to see my great grandbaby Luke and I get to see my daughter and I get to see my grandkids and so it's just it's just normal here you know like yesterday I got out of bed I went in the kitchen, I made some coffee, I sat in the recliner, I had some coffee, I looked at my email, I turned on the TV, I listened to the news, I decided I didn't want to listen to it, turned it off, turned on some music, listened to music, I set up a table in the living room I'm wanting to take over, I have an extra table here that's been out in the garage forever waiting for Jerry to put it together for me. Well, I finally decided he's never going to have time, so I drug it in here piece by piece by piece. <laughs> And I put that sucker together myself. I'll show you a picture of it. I'll stick it right here. Okay, how cool was that? <laughs> so I put my table in there and when I left the other house, I have so much fabric there that I don't have another square inch to stick any more fabric, but I'm still always buying it because I think, you know, when I'm old, probably not going to have very much money, so I need to buy all this fabric now, and if I can't use it, I can give it all away, and I love to give things away. So anyway, I just picked up armloads of fabric and stuck it in bags and stuck it in boxes, and I brought it all here. So then... I cut up those boards and I wrapped my fabric and I found places to put it here so I was just I just really enjoyed it so I did that all morning and then um, I texted my daughter and I said just for your information I'm back in town because you know I was just here having my cataracts removed I was here for almost a month and I had gone home for a week so I texted her and said well I'm back and so she called and she said hey do you want me and Luke to come over I said sure so my daughter and my little great-grandson came over and we just, we sat in here for a while and talked. And I said, let's go out on the patio. Luke loves to swing. <coughs> Next time we do this, I'm going to get a video of it. You guys won't believe it. This baby is like a jumping bean. A jumping bean, bouncing ball, moving train. The child is never still. But I've got this porch swing out there. And you can put two grown-ups on it. And so I sit on it and I put Luke next to me. And he doesn't move never moves we pick him up we put him down and he just lays there and we just swing and swing and swing Tammy was sitting in front of me in a regular chair and we were in the swing Tammy said I cannot believe this I have never seen this child be this still for this long Luke just loves it he gets it from me I love to swing <laughs> if they could make one of those baby swings big enough for me I would be in it in my house <laughs> I love to swing I love to swing and I love to go around and around and look at me, I can see, no glasses, no contacts, ah, awesome. If you all are my age and you have cataracts and you've thought about having them removed, do it, do it, do it. Oh my gosh, amazing, wonderful, fabulous. 
Anyway, I can't even remember what I was going to tell you now. <laughs> I've gotten off track so many times. <laughs> but anyway, probably tomorrow, I'm going to go down to Beso Inn, which is, I don't know, 20 miles from here. It's far. And I'm going to have my one-on-one -on -one demonstration of the machine that I'm buying. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then on September the 8th, they're having something called a tech party. And um, what is her name? Her last name's Mashi. Mashi, Mashi. What is her first name? Pam Ma Mashi? Pam? Anyway, she's like the head trainer lady of Baby Lock Machines. And she's going to be here and she's going to be showing. They're getting rid of all of their old stock because they've come in with all kinds of new machines. And so, oh my gosh, if you ladies want a new sewing machine and you got a Baby Lock dealer, go, go, go. I think they're just, I think they're like 50% off or something. The machines that they've had because they're clearing the stores to put the new models in. But anyway, September the 8th, we're going for this tech party. And I don't know, probably already have seen the Solaris by then. I don't know. But anyway. Philly's going to go and I'm going to go and we're going to see whatever it is they want to show everybody. And they give you free food and prizes, so <laughs> that's always a reason to go anywhere. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what else to say because I'm going to go meet Philly for lunch now. And we are going to meet at Johnny Carino's because they have that fresh baked bread out of the oven. It's just little rolls, but they, they pour this olive oil and maybe some kind of vinegar and some kind of herbs in a dish, and then they give you this fresh, hot, baked Italian bread. <gasps> and you pull it off in little pieces and you dip it in that sauce and you eat it and you just think, oh, I hope they have this stuff in heaven. <laughs> so good. Yes, and my stomach shows it. <laughs> A year ago, I was 137. Now I'm 150. Ah! But, you know what? I don't really care. <laughs> I always have this thing. I've told myself, all right, I'm never going over 130. And then when I got over 130 and I got a little higher, a little higher, a little higher, I thought, okay, I'm, a, I'm 40 years old. I, I just won't ever go over 140. <laughs> and so then I got even older and older, and then I kept creeping up from 140, 140, 140. I got all the way up to 157 one time. When I was in my 140s, I said, I'm never going over 150. That's it. That's cut off. I'm never going over 150. So now I'm at 150. <laughs> so it's like, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to have this for lunch, but tonight I'll just drink water and eat grass or something. <laughs> I don't know. That never happens either. Okay, I'm just rambling on and on. <laughs> you guys were saying, where are you? Now you're like, would you please go away? I'll be back soon. Bye. <laughs>